The school is shut down, but this morning, this unidentified man and woman showed up opening the gate outside the 7th Avenue Center for Family Services. Do you have any comment as to what happened with Elijah? God bless the family. No God bless the family, no problem. Parents like Emmeline Geronimo arriving later intending to drop off her son, only finding out about Elijah Silvera's death when we told her. I'm very upset about that because I think we should all know. These are our kids' lives, and we as moms, we bring, you know, our kids here trusting. So I'm, I'm very, very sad for the family. Today we saw NYPD detectives heading into the school on Lenox Avenue in Harlem, where the little boy's family says he was given a grilled cheese sandwich by an adult at the pre-K, despite them knowing and having documented that he has a severe allergy to dairy. They say Elijah went into anaphylactic shock, later dying. I think it's incompetence, and I think they definitely should receive consequences because it's not right. We send our children places and expect for them to be safe. Wednesday night, five days after Elijah's death, the Department of Health announced they're closing the school while they investigate. If you see him, he's just a bright light. He's one of those kids that, he, he was one of those kids that, um, when you walked in the room and saw him, you just light up. His family, along with the parents of his classmates and neighbors, demanding an explanation. They should be shut down. And whoever did that, whoever's in charge of this program, should definitely face criminal charges, I think. Well, new criminal charges are expected, but we can tell you sources say staffers here did not follow their safety plan. They did not, they say, adequately supervise Elijah. Meanwhile, officials from the Department of Health are promising an aggressive investigation. We're live this afternoon in Harlem. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.